Okay, hi everybody. Today I want to talk about some grease options um, for the uh, obviously the Ultra 300 or the Ultra 310 um, for the uh, pivot bearing. And uh, I've done other videos on this, but uh, you know the questions come up: what kind of grease? Here is our pivot bearing inside here. Let's see if we can get a shot. I'll get that uh, in there. Okay. There's our pivot bearing there, where I have my screwdriver on, and it's located in there. I've done, I've done other videos on this, uh, how to take it out, how to clean it. So obviously the question arises, what type of grease to use? I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, for one of our members, um, he was asking about torque settings for this uh, castle nut here, the lower one, and the upper one. I haven't torqued mine in. As you can see, what I do is, uh, when I originally got the ski, I marked it with a felt pen on the top one, and the bottom one, that's the tight position. When I take this unit off, I just tighten it right up to that marked uh, position with a felt pen so I know where to mark it. So um, you, you probably could torque it. I haven't looked it up in the, in the service manual, but there probably is a torque setting. But uh, I can assure you that... Uh, Assuming it was torqued properly in the factory when you torque it up to your felt pen marks that you put on it before you take it apart this top uh, castle nut and the bottom castle nut that removes this uh, idler assembly to, to get to the uh, pivot bearing it's tight believe me it's it's really tight but anyways same member was also asking about these uh, bolts here if they're uh, on this is the catch can and he was saying, is there torque value for these? There's two bolts here. They're 10, I believe they're 10 millimeter. Um, there probably is. I, I didn't torque these either. I did have a, pelt, or a felt pen mark on them, but it's worn off because I've had it out a number of times doing videos and stuff. But again, I would just put a felt pen mark on these. One, two. And he was also asking about taking the catch can out. How hard is it? Uh, it's really easy. You take off this hose here, one, two, undo these two bolts here, lift the catch can up, and there's a there's a hose on the bottom. And it's a little bit of a pain. You gotta hold the catch can up, undo the clips, pull the hose off, and uh it's it, it's a bit of a pain. But you really need if you're gonna go in and start uh work uh pushing on the dummy nut to get this idler assembly off etc you want to take the catch can off because it's just so tight in there you could probably do with it on but i wouldn't also so we're going to talk about grease for the uh, pivot bearing that we just uh, pointed out and grease for the uh, steering bushing up here i just did a video on that uh, how to tighten up the slop and uh oh it's beautiful now but anyways let's go talk grease now and uh my garage. I'm in Southeast Asia. It's about uh, 1.15 in the morning and uh, I like doing videos. So here we are. So anyways, for the pivot bearing and the uh, steering bushing that I just did a video on as well, I greased them both. I use this Super Lube. It's a synthetic grease. Uh, seems to work well. When I did that pivot bushing, I put lots in there and uh, and I even grease the O-rings, and uh, it works really well. But here's the consistency of greases, okay? I'm going to change next time. If I ever pull my pivot uh, bushing out, I will change, and I'll show you why. This is uh, Super Lube Synthetic Grease, okay? And I'll put it between my hands. I mean, it's okay. It's uh, there's, there's no sticking properties to it at all, really. And... Uh, a few times I've opened the cap up and a little bit of liquid came out. And I thought, well, how can that be? I believe it's rated for 500 degrees. You know, it's not supposed to break down. And sometimes my garage gets warm in here. But uh, anyways, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's doing its job in my pivot bearing and my steering bushing. But anyways, that's super loop. Uh, another option is high heat uh, wheel bearing grease. This is in Thailand, so whatever you get. But anyways, it's high heat. The consistency is almost the same as uh, as uh, Super Lube, and it's rated for a higher temperature. 
It's got no sticking ability, really. Maybe a bit more than the uh, synthetic grease. And, and it's, a, it's a high heat grease. You could use that in your steering. You could use it in the uh, pivot bushing. I wouldn't. And, and I won't use this again either. But it's, it's okay. It's probably doing its job. But this is cup grease. And it's medium temperature, but it's got some stickiness to it. So you'll see what I mean. It might be similar to some of that, uh, one of the guys was talking about bear grease or something like that. Not from a bear, but it had a name like that. And it's got some stickiness to it. I like that. Again, it's a medium heat. I don't know how much heat you're going to see in the pivot uh, bushing. I don't think that much. You know, it's going to get warm around there. But anyways, it's got some stickiness to it. I, I kind of like that. Now, this is supposed to be waterproof. Super loop. That's what they say. The wheel bearing grease is not as such. It's not waterproof. The cup grease, even though it's a little stickier, is not waterproof. Uh, so the super loop synthetic is waterproof. And then over here, we've got this chassis grease. It's waterproof. And I'll show you why. And this is what I'm changing to if I ever do it again. Look at this stuff. <laughs> I mean, actually, I mean, you just you just can't get the stuff off you. It's, it's on me, and uh, I'm screwed now. I, I can't. I mean, it, it just keeps... Uh, and actually, it's fairly warm in my garage right now, but you'll see it just comes off in strands, and uh, it's a medium heat grease again. It's not rated, but it's it's rated as uh, waterproof. It's a chassis grease, and uh, it's sticky as heck, eh? It's just all over the place, and uh, I mean, it's, it's a bloody mess, really. And uh, so anyways, that's what I'm going to go to next time with my pivot bushing is a waterproof grease that has excellent sticking abilities. There are O-rings in the pivot bushing. This Super Lube will probably last a lifetime. I use Super Lube Synthetic in my steering bushing, but I like this stuff. Look at, look at that. I mean, it's just, it's in strands. I don't think, uh, my, my bigger concern using a grease would be in the steering assembly in that bushing there, where it could work its way out. If you've done your steering bushing yet, uh, as Corey said, I, I pulled the bottom part out and grease that up, and I use my Super Lube again. Um, next time I'll use this, because look at it. it. It can't work its way out. I, I don't think so. It's waterproof. Uh, I mean, it's a grease, so I mean, it obviously lubricates. Uh, but I like the surfactant factor to it. You know, it's really sticky. Look at it. I mean, it's all over. And, and that's my concern. I mean, I'll use it in a pivot bushing, and... Uh, while we're talking about pivot bushings, and one of the guys is about to do his, Anton in Russia makes stainless steel pivot bushings. Um, and I don't know, I should have thought of this before I started the video, but uh, I'm not sure where I put it. Uh, sorry guys, I'm usually ready, but... Uh, like I say, Anton in Russia on the forum makes a stainless steel bushing with a zert foot or fitting, and uh, you can do it that way. Here it is. It's all in here. Let's let's pull that out because I don't want to make a new video. And uh, so you may want to consider doing this. Usually ready. Huh. Just for your information, there's a stainless steel pulley supercharger pulley if you ever want to go to stainless but it's about three times the weight don't know if i'll ever use it but i insisted on stainless just to see what they'd be like so anyways here's the uh pivot bushing i'm talking about for the belt tensioner this is what i'm talking about the whole time and uh this is what you would this is what i'm talking about greasing this one's made out of stainless steel and it's made by anton in russia it's excellent quality and he supplies a grease fitting with it also known as a zert fitting and if you go to his web page find Anton he's not hard to find and he suggests drilling right into the outside of it so grease gets in but anyways he makes these uh, bushings out of stainless and they're really nice and uh, I will put it in one day but I've only got about uh, I don't know not many hours since I've already greased my 
pivot bushing up and uh, so anyways you can get them made out of stainless and you can tap in a zert fitting and uh, just use a grease gun and uh, you never ever have to pull this apart again but a court talking about that according to Corey in Australia once you get in there and grease it clean it and grease it they're really never a problem again so anyways uh, uh, hope that helps and uh, another tip from Rod <laughs>